Hi guys, today we're going to make a 60 FPS cheat for a Switch game. I'll put the requirements of the programs you need in the description. Neo Automata, it's a 30 FPS game. We can check this by clicking status monitor and then FPS counter. We can see it's capped at 30. After we've successfully checked the game is 30, locked at 30 FPS. We're going to open Edison SE. This is a program that lets you modify memory addresses, memory values. Okay, we're going to have to search what we want to change. Normally, be, normally, a lot of Switch games, you can just search a couple values, values and you'll be able to find them easily. That control the frame rate. For here's three of them. I'll put others in the description. Five seven zeros two do five seven zeros four three eight and five seven zeros three four eight. For near automata's case, it's five seven zeros two do. We're going to search this. Make sure you've set it to U64 equals and heat plus main. Now we're going to search. This shouldn't take too long. It'll take very long if you choose RAM, so just choose heat plus main. Okay, we found a candidate. We can tell it's a good candidate, most likely, if it has a zero at the end of heat plus. See the F, C0? We'll click middle stick to go to it. Now what we want here is this 2 right under the 500. This is the value that controls the frame rate. Right now it's set to 2 which is equal to 30 FPS. If we change this value to 1, go to the home menu, then go back to the game, and check the frame rate. We can see it's 60 FPS now. This is good. This is what we want. Now, we've since we've edited the value, because you don't want to open edits in every time you want to play the game at 60 FPS, we want to convert this to a cheat. To do, to do this, we'll go back to edits and SE. We'll click the middle stick. We'll press B to jump back. We're finding a pointer code for the game because the switch has ALSR, which randomizes memory, which is not good if you want to modify it consistently. We'll, we'll press Y on the first one. It can be any of them. We'll press B again. We'll press Y again. We'll repeat this process until we find the main. Click on one of them that has the main. And then what you want to do is you want to click R until you get back to your original value that you changed. Now, now click the plus button to add a bookmark. I'm just going to call this 60 FPS new. We've saved that address to bookmark. Now we'll press ZL and B. Now we'll click bookmark toggle, which is L. Now we want this one, the one at the bottom, because this has the pointer code. See the Z equals five main. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now what we're gonna do is We're going to press ZL plus A to add cheat. Now what's important here is that we write this cheat to file. Press ZL plus click the left stick.
This should give us a cheat here. Okay, let's check if that cheat's working, the one we just made. We're going to close the game and relaunch it and then enable the cheat. If the cheat works, the game should run at 60 FPS. Okay, let's open up status monitor and check. It's running at 30. We haven't enabled the cheat yet. So let's uh, enable the cheat by going into Edison, turning it on. And we can see the game is running at 60 FPS. We made a successful cheat. So what? how do we save the cheat? How do we make it easier to export the cheat? Now, unless you want to dig through your atmosphere contents, and look up title IDs and whatever, which is a massive pain. You want to use Breeze. We're going to open up Breeze. And then we're going to go to Cheats. We've enabled the cheat. I don't think that actually does anything. But what we're going to do is write cheat to file. This will save this in this directory on the SD card. Okay, I've copied the cheat off the SD card onto a USB key and now I'm looking at it on my computer. We're going to make a 30 FPS cheat so I can easily toggle. Now, now first, this doesn't matter, but we can just get rid of this here. We're going to call this 60 FPS. We'll copy this. We'll make this 30 FPS. We'll say it's default. And we'll change this one here to a 2. This is what it was originally. This is so you can easily switch between them when you're playing the game. Because in handheld mode, you won't have enough overclocking potential to reach 60, so you have to set it back to 30. And we'll hit save. If we want to copy this back, if we want to copy this back, we'll have to make, you'll have to copy it into atmosphere. Contents. This is the title ID for Neo Automata, the version of the game I have. Contents. Inside that, we'll need a folder called Cheats. Then we can copy this. The title, this file name is the BID of the game, which is the version of the game. We can ignore that toggles.txt. And we can paste that there. If you put the cheat in that directory on your SD card, editors and SE will be out. Edison will be able to access it and you'll be able to use the cheat. And that should be it besides one final advanced thing. This advanced topic covers games that when you set them to 60 FPS, they'll set them back to 30 FPS, often when you open and close a menu. Games like these include Years, seven, years 8 and 9 and Disney Dreamlight Valley. Okay, here's the code for the conditionals. This is what this is what you'll add to a cheat of a game if it goes to 60 FPS and then switches back to 30. We'll get rid of this last line here. And that will be good. We'll do the same here for the 30 FPS code. 
but we'll change the two, we'll change both twos. 